Hi, I'm Sandy, and meal planning for me isn't about spending all weekend cooking and planning my menu. It's about finding a few recipes with overlapping ingredients so I can get a head start on at least one of my dinners. So chicken is just about the easiest protein to make and to make a lot of. It's easy to customize and my family will eat it. So tonight I'm gonna make a classic meat starch veg dinner with some barbecue chicken, some orzo, and some roasted bell peppers. But I'm not just gonna make enough chicken for tonight, I'm gonna make extra chicken and save it for tomorrow. Now, cooking a lot of chicken, about two to four pounds, takes just as much time as cooking one pound of chicken. So might as well just make all of it. They usually come in extra big packages too, so it's easier just to make it all. Got some nice big pieces of chicken in here. And then a good tip when you're batch cooking chicken is to keep the seasoning really simple. I like to just add a little bit of chicken broth. You could do water too. Chicken broth adds some nice flavors. And then just some salt and pepper. Instead of seasoning it with a rub seasoning or a fancy sauce, just keep it really simple and then you could season your chicken the way you like it when it's done. Okay, so my chicken is going in the quick cooker. I don't have to worry about it right now. So I'm gonna roast all these for tonight and then save some of them along with the chicken to make chicken quesadillas tomorrow night. And then that way I'll just have to throw my ingredients together and just make the quesadillas so easy tomorrow. So my family loves bell peppers. So I like to prepare them sometimes raw, sometimes roasted, sometimes grilled. I like to keep their interest by making it in different ways. Not only are they delicious and crisp and refreshing, but they've got a lot in the way of nutrition, vitamin C, vitamin A, and potassium. I like using all of my pepper so it doesn't go to waste. So good. Tastes so different when they're roasted too. Ooh, gorge. So now I'm gonna throw these in the oven to roast and make some orzo for tonight's dinner. All right, so my chicken's all done. I'm just gonna chop it all up because I wanna have chopped chicken tonight with my barbecue sauce and then I need chopped chicken tomorrow for the quesadillas. There are so many different ways to use leftover chicken. We love doing chicken salad. You could do paninis, soups, even things like fajitas and tacos too. This is amazing. So I'm gonna take about half of it and transfer it to my container for tomorrow. Look at all that chicken. It's like a blank canvas for so many different ideas. All right, that's looking good. Then I'm gonna take the rest of it, add it back to my quick cooker with some barbecue sauce and simmer it so it gets thickened and all incorporated. It is gonna be good. All right, look at these peppers. These are looking so good. I'm gonna go ahead and save about half of them for my quesadillas tomorrow. So a good thing to know is to let your bell peppers and your chicken come to room temperature first before you put it in the fridge. I like to just leave it out with the lid off. It'll cool down a little quicker. Now your cooked chicken's gonna last about three to four days in the refrigerator and your bell peppers will last about five days. Dinner is served. Plus I have a head start on tomorrow's meal. The extra steps I took today will make tomorrow so much easier. Okay, today I'm ready to make my chicken quesadillas with my leftover cooked bell peppers and my leftover chicken. I'm so glad that I have a head start because basically all I'm gonna do is just warm up the ingredients really quickly, stuff the quesadillas and then fill them. So simple. So I've got my chopped bell peppers. I'm gonna add the chicken. Quesadillas are such a great day two meal because you can customize them with different proteins, different veggies, different beans. You can even experiment with different types of tortillas. I like to say, basically, you can slap anything in between two tortillas with some cheese and it's gonna be good. And I've got some black beans. So I'm just gonna put these on my griddle and heat it up just for a couple minutes to get in nice and warm before I fill my quesadillas. 
Since everything's cooked, this is just only gonna take a couple minutes. I'm just gonna close this and cook it for about two to three minutes, that's it. These look so good and they only took me about 10 minutes to make. Meal planning doesn't have to be something that you spend all weekend on. For me, it's just about finding some overlapping ingredients that your family loves and finding time in your recipe to get a head start on tomorrow. That's all there is to it.